Hi everyone, in this video I will tell you how to pick your first stock safely using fundamental analysis and will give you several more tips and tell you which tools to use. You all know that you need a broker, but still, this is the first step. You can't buy stocks without a broker, so please find one. If you're from the US, there are many brokers there that you can use, like TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, E-Trade, Merrill Lynch, etc. But if you're outside the US and you want to trade stocks on the US stock exchanges, then I suggest you go with interactive brokers. Decide on your investing strategy. You need to understand for yourself how long do you want to own the stock and what is your goal. If you want to speculate and hold it for a short term like one day, seven days, couple of weeks at the most, then you should use technical indicators mostly to analyze the stocks. And if you are a long-term investor and you don't want to think about any technical stuff, you should buy stocks for at least five years, better 10 or 15 years, or maybe for your whole life and then it will go to your kids and so on. And if you invest for a long term, you can safely assume that this stock will worth much more in the future like like i said in 10 15 20 years than if you would be speculating and trying to earn some profit in five seven days next you should check the company's profitability by the way at this step before buying i suggest you watch the video closely to the end and then make up your mind look it through the end and do that before buying any stocks even if you think that you're super smart and you know everything please just watch the video till the very end check company's profitability you should look at company's profit margins for the last 15 years or more it should have positive earnings per share eps and it should have it for the last 15 years at least and be profitable now it's a safe bet that the company will be profitable in the future look at the company's dividend yield and whether the company pays dividends at all because dividends is something that you really want it's the incremental you want to get apart from the tax value you want to get in 5 10 15 years meaning that you expect the stock to grow in five years, like you're buying for $100 and you expect it to grow to $200 in five years. And during these five years, you want to get extra like two, three, four percent per year just because company paying dividends. And this is something you want to take into account. And I suggest you check whether the company paid dividends for the last 10 years at least, rather 15 years, so that you see that the company was paying dividends during the 2007 and 2008 recession, because company should be recession proof and pay dividends during any kind of economical crisis. You should go and check analyst price targets and ratings. I will show you where to do that. You can go to Yahoo Finance and here you put a ticker, Black Hills Corporation. You scroll down and on the right side you see recommendation rating, you see analyst price targets and you see current price, low price, average and high price. And recommendation rating. The recommendation rating should be between one, which is strong by and between two, which is by everything that's after two, well, let's say it will be much riskier. And on Yahoo Finance, you also can see a lot of data about this company, including whether this company is overvalued or not, whether this company pays dividends or not, and so on. But what you need here is analyst recommendation rating, and it should be between one and two. Let's go back. You should check the company's latest news, because if you don't, that might reflect on the stock price negatively for you. You don't know whether the company is hiring, you don't know whether the company is firing their employees. And for example, like now in the latest news, you can know everything about new vaccine and companies who are developing the vaccine, their stocks grow higher. And the companies who develop in the vaccine and they have some setbacks, their stocks go lower. So latest news is also something you want to take into account and read carefully before buying the stock. Then you need to compare stock performance versus market. 
And by market, I don't mean standard and poor's 500. I will show you where to do that. You can go to stock chart. This is the tool I'm using. You can use any tool you want. And here you can type in symbol in here, enter symbol or name, or you can type symbol in here. I will leave this link below the video. So no worries, you can just use the link and type in any symbol you have here. But we will use the same we were using on Yahoo Finance, Black Hills Corporation. And here, Black Hills Corporation. You choose period weekly and down here you choose 10 years because I'm investing for a long term. I suggest you do the same and I'm analyzing 10 years. In here, where's symbol? you should put the symbol of a sector this company in. For example, here you can see that this is utilities, conventional electricity. So utilities is the sector and the designation of this sector is XLU. You put XLU here and you put XLU here under parameters. And then you see how this company performs. The company is green, the sector is red. How this company performs versus sector it should be either higher or at least at the same level with the sector and if it is then it's a good company to buy look this is a nice graph you can also see here dividends and some more technical stuff you don't actually need right now that's how you compare the stock versus market i will also leave all the sector designation in the description to this video so no worries after you compare the stock performance versus market for the last at least 10 years you can take 20 you can dive even deeper in fundamental analysis. I'm using Simply Wall Street. You can use whatever you want. So I will show as an example on Simply Wall Street, Black Hills. You see, this is the executive summary. It shows that the company pays dividends and the company has good past. You will read everything yourself, but the thing is you can see whether the company is good fit for you or not. For example, it is going to grow in the next years that's good it has been growing for the last five years it's also great and it pays a reliable dividend as was shown in stock charts they increase their dividends every year and at the beginning of the year so at the start of the year you will be getting higher dividends then you can see valuation here this tool shows whether the company is overvalued or not for example it's 26 percent overvalued which is okay to my mind you can look at amazon and see how overvalued this one you can look at future growth and how it compares with the market and with the industry in the whole you can look at past performance you can look at financial health you can look at dividends management whether the management is experienced or not ownership who owns the company and insider buying well that that's good when the latest buys from individuals who are employees of the company and the company information and about risks guys Please keep in mind that I'm not a certified advisor. I do not urge you in any way to buy stocks and I do not say that you will earn a ton of money. Vice versa. This is risky as hell and you and only you can make the decision to buy or not. So please, before doing any kind of investment, think 10 times as only you will be responsible for your actions. Okay, if you have any questions, leave it below the video. First you want to check PE ratio. It should be below 20. Everything that's above is overvalued. Even if it says it's overvalued, 17 is okay. Amazon has 90, so 17 is more than okay. Next, when to buy. If you want to buy a growth stock and you want it to grow like at the next day or at the next week, you should look at the predictions of technical predictions for example two six weeks here is going down this is a technical prediction and you see chart events bearish six nine six weeks to nine months is midterm and is going up and long term it's going down you can compare this data with the data on the other service because i strongly advise you against trusting information you have only from one source. We can compare this information with investing.com. Okay, let's start from the beginning. You can type in ticker, Black Hills Corporation. Then you go down, you can go to technical and check consensus estimates. You see that the general estimate five from eight analysts are saying that this company is going to 
outperform and the average upside is 17.34% during the next 12 months. And you see, here's a technical analysis. For example, if you want to hold the stock long term, you should pick monthly and you see the summary in general that neutral it's not going to grow but analysts are saying that it's going to grow moving averages are saying that you should buy and other indicators are saying that you should sell but again you make the decision and you can compare this information with the information in other sources i bought this stock for example because i'm buying stocks that are paying good and strong dividend i also agree with the analyst that this stock is going to grow. Why? I don't know, maybe because I want it to grow. And here analysts are also saying that this stock is going to grow as high as $77 in the next 12 months. So for example, I think that this price point is pretty good. But again, you decide whether you want to buy it or not. This is just an example and I'm just showing where to look more data and i'm showing you more services like yahoo finance investing.com stock charts and simply wall street these are four services that i'm using i don't think that you need more but again it's up to you and at yahoo finance you can find a lot of information here financials analysis etc you will check it up yourself but this is everything i wanted to say if you have any questions please type it down under this video thank you that's all for now guys. If you have any questions, please comment and I'll definitely answer. Also, subscribe for more videos with applicable and useful content.